Greetings YouTube. Thank you for taking time to watch us today. What we're doing uh, this, this, today is we're working on a little project. It's probably going to be multiple phases. But the first one is we've got the stairs to come down from the deck here behind me. And we'd like to make a little storage space here underneath it. We have some leftover roofing material from when we built the cover over the side of the house and we built our little storage shed. So we've taken these extra pieces and we actually have already test fit them. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, look at them here. We got we trimmed the edge off of one. We've got them here, and we're going to screw them up underneath here. So we've got the stuff here that we put on to help seal them up. And the we've got stuff. Them right out here on a the two way tape. What is it? it? It's a bead of adhesive. Okay. That like gummy kind of. Yeah, it's sticky on both sides, and it, okay. it's a sealer that goes in between them. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay that down in between. We'll attach our two pieces to each other, then we'll lift them up, and then we're just going to screw them to the bottom of the stairs here. We don't have enough to run all the way up, but we're just going to close this off underneath here so that we still got room to get through here. It's just going to be a small little spot probably to keep a lawnmower in. Yeah. And keep it out of the weather so it's not going to be anything really particularly fancy but we just wanted to do it that way and uh we're gonna go ahead and get going on it tristan's here to help he's hiding off camera but that's what we got going today <laughs> <laughs> nice picture of dad's butt thanks <laughs> down to that end. Where are we? We're gonna stick it right on here. On this on, on the, the graph. Plaque. Yeah just next to the Yeah. Right there. A little extra so we can cut it off. Yeah, yeah, well it pulls fine. apart. Okay. You just can't when you take the paper off. Knee pads. You lined up on your end? Yep. That should help any water that tries to go this way to help keep it from it would still have a ways to travel. And that should help keep it nice and dry. If we've done this correctly, that should be the right width. Tristan, I think it's caught a little bit right there. Can you pop it? Thank you. We won't be there when you try and lift it up. That slides better. Thank you. And this is usually the part I edit out that yeah. why we figure it yeah, out. Just keep it. I just keep going. Oh. Did, did it, did it. It's good because then you get those surprise moments that you can We get the funny stuff and it's like, yeah. Pocket now. Pocket. Okay. Good to go. 
So I want you to go here from the left thumb, or right thumb rather. <laughs> you, the other left? <laughs> no, well, I was thinking left and I decided to go right. I okay. changed my mind. So do my right one right first. Here? Yeah, about, yeah, and try to get right in the middle of the board. Make sure you're going the right way. That would help. Two down, three to charm. Spinning, if you start spinning it before you put it on there, sometimes not, you know, not real fast, just kind of slow. So these are designed for the metal roofing. They've got a washer that you don't over tighten them. You just put them down snug help keep the water from coming through. Go ahead and get that one. And I think... Okay, come get this one. And then I think we'll try to get down towards the bottom. Right there. Yeah. Son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where we got a bag of 250. Keep going. Okay, and in fairness to Tristan, he did not insert a lot of these while we were doing the other two projects. So, yeah, I think he's okay. his first run at putting these screws in. I think just work your way down about every, about a foot about on a each foot. one. Yeah. yeah, we'll let the young guy crawl under. And I don't know if we need to, I'll keep it. Yeah, that's... You want to try to be perpendicular. To an angle? How do you do that? So you don't want to go straight up from where you yeah. are, you want to go straight into the board. Roger. Okay. Alright, so this is the clip which shows how we're going to trim this edge that we're going to paste in. We're going to use the air saw with the hacksaw blade. It is really noisy. We're just going to do a little bit here on camera to show what we're doing. As you can see, we're getting a pretty nice, clean, straight cut, as much as I can keep it straight. We tried with razor blades, we tried, I don't, we, with knife. tin snips, I don't have an air nibbler, which is what I really need to do this. So, we're going to go ahead and do this, but we're not going to make you listen to all of it. I'm waiting for the compressor to charge back up. Rather you than me. It's the screw, I promise. I believe you. It's that screw too, they both suck. Okay. Now that screw, that one's perfect. Alright, well, that's <laughs> three times. I'll keep trying. is. can't see if it's pulling it up or not. Oh. Well, he's got to get a guess. Take the 
ones out of my pocket because I can't really reach into my pocket down there. Oh, take the bag. <laughs> that might help. Take the bag and slide it around a little. Yeah. Down with you. No falling down. Don't tell me I have to do one at the bottom, do I? Yes, please. How am I supposed to get the drill down there? Oh, well, go as far as it'll go. Okay. That will be your last screw if you get it down, yeah. wherever it lands, that'll, yeah. Yeah, I that's good. That's my last wherever one. it lasts, wherever you can reach, it would fit under there, so you're doing good. Oh, are you doing something and I'm That's okay. <laughs> so to get to the ones down the bottom there, and we had this when we were doing the, the roof as well, where it gets kind of tight. So we've got a 90 degree adapter. <clears throat> this was the cheapest one we could find that was high rated. Um, I don't remember if we got this at Lowe's, if we did, but uh, it works pretty good and you just put a quarter inch. If you're really tight, we can get, just stick this, all these are a quarter inch hex, so we can either use a socket in there or just stick the screws in this and it allows you to get in there pretty tight. And so we'll use that for these bottom ones. You were supposed to keep working. I didn't want to interrupt you with a lot. So anyways, <laughs> well, he answered the that's question what we're going to do to get down in well, there. We had another plan, but we'll do that one instead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you on now? I'm on now. Okay, um, we're back working on our project of our storage for our lawnmower underneath the, the cupboard under the stairs, I believe we're calling it. Um, Just a place so I don't have to drag the lawnmower up and down the stairs. Yeah, because we've got up and down, we've got two of the Eagle lawnmowers that we really like. And we started awake and we started working without filming so we're going to recapture what we've done so far just kind of to show what we've done um the first thing we did is we've got these two by fours that we ripped down from our pile of wood outside and the first thing we did is we came down here and we held these up against the metal roofing because it's not flat for us to put our studs in so you'll want to zoom in here to see so what we did is we just held this square up get our level on our bubble and it was a lot easier with me holding it <laughs> Christy holding instead of holding the camera and then we draw a line here. And that's our angle that that should theoretically be straight up and down. We hope. Um, it relies on the builder having built the stuff straight up and down as well. Haha. <laughs> yeah, right. Which is questionable. And the next thing we did is we got the handsaw out. There you go. We held it up there like that, adjusted the angle, match it up, and clamp two boards in here, cut them down. I'm not going to make two more cuts, but we ended up 
actually we made four more. We ended up with our boards right here with the angle on both ends. One end down and one end up. And so now we're gonna wedge these in there, push them up, run some decking screws up through this, through the metal, into this to hold them up. We're not concerned about them being, we're concerned about them being kind of straight. I mean, obviously they're twisted. I don't know if you want to take a shot down this to show how twisted this wood is. Oh, that's horrible. Um, they're all like that. <laughs> so we're making do. So everything's going to be kind of a custom fit on this, which is fine. It's a little shed for the lawnmower keep it protected uh, keep it safe so that's kind of to bring you up to speed with where we're at on this okay going oh nap time under the stairs you sleeping in your new bed I'm just mm. resting <laughs> it's kind of getting warm for me all right so we we've, we've got pressure treated lumber that's right going to go here. against the bottom here and it probably should have gone before we did this, but too bad, so sad. Um, oh well. Too I'm going to try to fix it now. So we want to get the angle to cut, and our board's too long. So I grabbed a scrap here, and I'm just going to mark it. So we could transfer that line to our Onto pressure, pressure treat. Okay. And we'll cut both of those on one end and let them run. And the reason we haven't attached those yet is because we don't trust ourselves to get this thing squared underneath here and plumb up and down. And we really like our walls to at least be plumb. We're working with an uneven concrete. So we're going to try to just get everything cut pretty close and laid out. Get a couple that we'll get our posts here that our door is going to attach to that will be four by fours that we're going to have to build out of two by fours and then actually there's a four by four in the other shed is there yeah is it straight uh -huh. but i just went and checked in our scrap pile and we got a four by four but no it's, a, it's, it's twisted a, and split it's a straight one that we put in the shed i believe for this so so if we've got one there we may use that <coughs> and uh once we've got it then we'll use the ram set to drive the nails down into the concrete with the foam underneath and all that stuff uh, to get this nice and sealed up so yeah, for now we're cutting angles there we go we're going What's that new stuff for? it is a vapor barrier uh -huh. that you put underneath the treasure treated wood on the concrete So we'll cut them long. Okay. Then we can come go back, back. Okay. with the razor knife and, and do that. Trim stuff up. But we got the wind to contend with. Of course the wind picks up. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Don't hit your head. <laughs> okay. All right, so so far every single one of these we tried to capture uh, has failed so we're going to see if we can get this one so we're going to try one more time <laughs> yeah, got one that's pretty much how it's supposed to work right and that anchors that to the concrete there yep. nice and solid okay for us. okay Okay, um, so we've cut a piece of pressure treated for a bottom matching length top 
and two sides to fit in our opening to build kind of a frame for a door. So now we're going to try to nail this up. None of our boards are particularly straight or flat. Presenting its own unique challenges. We're going to build a door oh. in this. Well, do we need to make sure it fits first? <laughs> Didn't quite get your air hose on there. Well, it's supposed to stay on. Test fit. You want to come with I'm coming with you. Alright. So you're gonna capture capture how off it is? How off we get? Yep. That would be it. did give me good measurements when we did it. <laughs> well, this side's snug. No, you're there. Well. On the top, the bottom one of the bottom sides is not. Yeah. The tops, but this because, is because we measure our posts and not on the ground. And not the ground. Because we changed our mind after we took our measurements. Which is pretty typical of us. Okay, well we're gonna stop there and try again. Okay, here we go with trying to get the box part in of the door. Okay, that's close. That's the bottom.
else we should have brought. What's that? The level. Big one or a little one? Little one. Huh? The little one. Okay. Level. Yeah, it's surprising. It's level. What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? Well, especially since the concrete's not. And so we were hoping to end up like this, but... We just never know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Looks pretty good that way. So then all we got to do is do this way and lock it in, right? Yep. Sure, if that was a nail that shot out or just air. <laughs> Not either. But it wasn't in front I of it. I decide that I decide I'd move. Okay. So you cut an angle. Okay. Yeah. So what we did is it set the handsaw up to. Drew a, held one of these up under the stairs and drew a line on it and we cut a bunch of pieces and we're getting them kind of close to length to put in here to make like studs so that we can attach our siding to them so what I've done is mark these we measured ballpark estimates and we're cutting them to that we cut our angle first because that's the tricky bit. These here are straight cuts. We can shave a little bit more off if we need to. That's a 20 it goes on, yes, that side. Hello, Miss Princess. Hello, sweetheart. So what we're doing is, you see there's, I've marked pretty much more or less 16 inches on center. And we're gonna just stick these in here like this. So when we attach our siding out here, we've got something to nail into. To secure it. That looks like that'll work. That work, Ella. We got a couple you think more. That'll work. Cut. Okay. Okay. Come over here, cause Papa's cutting. Come this way, by Nana. Thank right. you. What's the next one we've got? The next one is 19. Take them out. Yeah. I am filming. Huh? I am filming. Oh, so okay. you know. Okay. Okay, so we're putting the door back together, but we're drilling because the wood is really, really dry. We don't want to split it. Now, 
can't return the table now. Did you just drill it? I marked it. Oh. Well, I kind of like it. Hmm? I kind of like this table. I know you do. I want to get you another one. So you have two. So you can use them as a sawhorse also. You got one that's too long. <laughs> How'd you do that? Because you were supposed to cut this off here. <laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> well, they almost look nice and even. Just cut it off there. Huh? Can't you just cut it off or you just Oh you trust me to Well I think after it's... seeing this you trust me <laughs> to try to cut that straight. <laughs> I think not. There's your line. That's where you're supposed to cut it, right there. <laughs> you're laughing at me. I can't help it. It's funny. Neither one of us noticed. Okay, yeah. you go cut your board off and I'll... <laughs> I gotta bring the saw back out. We can't do it with the skill saw? Yeah, I know. I'll bring the saw out. It's easier. That way I put it straight. Okay, we will be.